family is from East Africa. My whole name is actually Philip Otega Okongogwoki Chandaware Owuya Odo Matwa Hitalamorwa Sule. Most people call me Phil. All of us have had a conversation with either someone younger or older than yourself, and it feels like you're speaking a different language. The oldest millennials are turning 39. Think about that. If you think that you can continue to use the old tricks to achieve the same results, I'm telling you, you are fooling yourself. And of all the conversations that I've had with young professionals, I've yet to meet the person that says to me, Phil, when I wake up in the morning, I ask myself, who can I disrespect today? So without further ado, please help me welcome Phil Gwoki. The topic of generations impacts every aspect of business. It's relevant to every member in an audience, from the boomer who's been in their industry for over 30 years to the Gen Edger who's in their first week on the job. We help all the generations get a better understanding of who they're working with, who they're talking to, who their customer is, who their new employees are, and give them ideas on how they can all work better together. Every one of us at one point or another have had a conversation with someone who's either older or younger than yourself, and before long it feels like you're speaking an entirely different language. And what I want to do today is give you some ideas to speak the language of the next generation of your employees so that you can build those bridges and build a strong, cohesive team. I have a love of history. I've always been curious about what's gone on in the past. And with this topic in particular, I get to now connect those moments in history with how it's shaped different generations over time and tell it in a way that the story comes to life for them. What we're talking about really are the events and conditions that shape us during our formative years. If you're a boomer and I were to bring up the subject of NASA, and I were to say, during your teen years, what was probably the most significant moment or memory that you have about NASA? Landing on the moon. Yeah, Neil Armstrong landing on the moon. If I bring up the subject of NASA to my Gen Xers, and I say, think back to your formative years, what's the most important memory that you think of with NASA? Challenger. Challenger explosion. So here you got the same institution, right? The same organization, NASA. And you talk to one generation about it, sense of pride, euphoria, excitement. You talk to another generation about it, and the most outstanding memory is very dismal. I love to tell a great story. And I love to see an audience relate to the content, the information, and get them laughing. I see people laughing from the CEO of a company right down to the intern who's only been there for a few days. Sometimes we get locked into certain mindsets. I'll give an example of what I mean. An eight-year-old kid came to his dad and said, Dad, how come the icon for my movie app is a picture of a bunk bed? <laughs> he has no reference point for film. <laughs> Audiences not only have a fun time, but they also have those important aha moments. This isn't another boring keynote presentation. This is an interactive conversation where we're using things like commercials, pop culture, music trivia. We create opportunities for there to be discussion in the room so that we get people out of their seats and really into the generational discussion. When you started your careers and you got to the office and the boss looked at you and said, jump, what was the right answer? How high, exactly. Fast forward to today, young professionals come to the office, the boss says, jump, what might you hear? Why? Why should I jump? Let me see you jump. Generational shifts created a different focus. And when I talked to different focus groups, people my age in India, they sounded very similar to baby boomers here in the United States. So I expected that when I talked to millennials, they were gonna sound like Gen Xers, and that wasn't the case. The millennials in India sounded just like the millennials here in America. Why? Because we have these new technologies that are creating a common mindset around the globe. So when you look in past generations around the world, you might see very strong nuances, but future generations, we're gonna see probably more similar Similarities. The customization process is an important part of everything we do. I've had the opportunity to speak to literally hundreds of clients, and what I've come to realize is no two companies or organizations are exactly alike, 
And so how could I ever deliver the same presentation and be effective? I've got to design it around them. 75% of millennials would take a pay cut to work for a socially responsible company. If you really want to get to the chase of things, then you start with your why and you work your way out. Start with your why. I can't say this for every industry we work with, but I know for a fact that you guys make a difference. But unfortunately, the world just doesn't understand it because it's not celebrated, it's not promoted. Figure out your why and promote it. As a speaker and a student of other speakers, one of the things that pains me is when I get great information but aren't given any tools on what to do with it. So throughout our sessions and at the end of every presentation, we're going to make sure our audience members walk away with actionable tips and tools that they can use the very next day. When you tell somebody what, you need to EQ it with a valuable why and a detailed how, okay? You have to provide a digital, trail for them to follow. Just saying it is no longer enough. They're gonna need something else to remember the content that you shared. Friends, there it is in a nutshell. And with the remaining time, I'm gonna to try to convince you as to why these tools are so important. One of the things that our audience members love about our presentations is we keep it positive. They'll tell me that they feel good about their generation and good about the generations that they're working with. You can bring the power of these young professionals to today's world and leverage it to a future that definitely needs your work. Thank you very much, I appreciate your time.